Imagine our DNA as a vast city where some areas are bustling with activity whilst others are quiet and inactive. A tax seek is our tool to map out these lively neighbourhoods in our DNA. Let's dive in. Hey guys, welcome back to Bite Size Bioinformatics. Today we are diving into a tax seek, our guide to the bustling hubs and quiet corners of our DNA. Inside our cells, DNA doesn't just float around willy-nilly. Instead, it's organised into a structure called chromatin. Chromatin is an intricate assembly of DNA wrapped around protein complexes called nucleosomes, which are primarily made up of histone proteins. While some areas of chromatin is tightly wound and impenetrable, others are more relaxed and accessible. The open regions are like the bustling hubs of our city, where the DNA's machinery and proteins can come in and interact with the DNA. When proteins bind to these accessible regions, they can kickstart many processes such as transcription or DNA replication. But here's the challenge. With such a vast and dynamic landscape of chromatin in our genome, how do we determine which parts are in the open state and which parts are in the more tightly wound, closed off state? This is where a taxi comes in. A taxi begins by sending in a unique enzyme called TN5 transposase. Think of this enzyme as a scout or an explorer. It's designed to seek out and cut the DNA. But here's the catch. It can only make cuts in regions that are open and accessible. So wherever this enzyme manages to cut, it's a clear indication that that part of the chromatin is in an open state. As the TN5 transposase makes its incisions, it simultaneously integrates sequencing adapters into the DNA at these cut sites. These adapters mark the regions of interest and prep the fragments for the next steps, which are amplification and sequencing. Now with our sequencing data, we can turn to bioinformatics. This is where the real magic happens. By comparing or aligning our sequences to a known reference genome, we can pinpoint the exact chromatin locations that were open and accessible. These accessible regions, often visualized as peaks on a graph, reveal the active hubs of our DNA. They show us potential sites where proteins might bind, where genes might spring into action, and where crucial regulatory elements might be orchestrating the symphony of gene expression. Ataxic is a game changer in genomics. It paints a vivid picture of DNA accessibility, helping us understand which genes are poised for action, where enhancers might be active, and how different conditions or diseases can change the DNA landscape. So that wraps up our episode today on Ataxic. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next episode.